All right, a new day. It's a new day, and we're going to we're going to turn things around as from being repeatedly attacked by wolves. We're going to start. Now nah, we're going to start the episode by dying again to wolves. It's fine. I'll just start every episode like that. That's honestly a very exciting way to start an episode. But hey, look at that sweet uh, spear throw I did there. That was that was pretty cool. I, I got a couple of pretty good spear throws in this episode that I'm I'm pretty proud of. No, honestly, this is uh, this is a uh, going to be a pretty good episode of uh, progress. Um, we got a couple of exciting things that happened. I I start to start like looking at maybe making some armor because I keep dying. Um, I think, I believe halfway through making this episode, I did install the mod that uh, made it so that I didn't, uh, I could recover my goods. And then, um, after this episode, I will be turning off punishment by death. Uh, it's not like I'm going to like try to die. You know, it's not like I'm going to use it to, to TP back to my base or anything like that. But you know, like I, I, I don't like losing uh, actual hours of, of work um, because you know we're, we're still stuck in this like Minecraft punishment by death mindset uh, I think I think that's kind of not fun and also not a good use of my time so I uh, hope you hope you don't mind I've turned that off but uh, you know at, panning through the 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 gravel um, does yield some interesting results you know some good stuff that has come out of it uh, including a brass, a couple of brass bracelets, which I'm not sure what they do. I don't know if they do anything. And uh, I, I do wish this was a thing in the game. I, I, I've seen a couple of mods that do this, but you can't can't really recover the metal or the the resources from those things. You can't like smelt down the uh, the copper arrowheads, for instance, and you know make that. But um, we are making the the anvil today, so you'll see. I'm I'm starting this process. This is when I realize how just the sheer like uh cosmic level of copper we're gonna need it's a ridiculous amount of copper that we're gonna need um so i instead opt for uh making a new copper pickaxe because we lost that as well in the last episode um so you know we we're, we're gonna have to fill in our, our mold again and and work on that but i put the rest in the anvil here as you can see so um, you know, there's, there's going to be a little bit of grinding in this episode to recover um, the lost goods, and l recover some of the stuff. Like, I, I not not only did I lose my pickaxe and my, my sword, but I also um, lost my cool hunter's backpack as well, which, um, you know, like, I'll probably end up making another one, but, you know, it, it only adds one extra inventory space. It's barely worth it, to be honest. Uh, for the amount of effort and work you have to put in to, to get it, it, it does not not seem worth it. But So here I try my old method of mining in mine, like from Minecraft. This is my Minecraft method of mining. And it, it doesn't work here because, the, as I said in the last episode, ore is few and far between so I, I come to realize that the best way is to go and search for it on the uh, surface so we get get ourselves a couple of shovels and we're gonna we're gonna actually yeah I, I dig in some clay here and the reason is is because because we're doing uh, a lot of mining we're gonna end up with a lot of um, clay stone and uh, this was around the um, the the moment when I decided I was not going to build my base out of wood Despite the fact that I was working steadily towards a saw, uh, I wanted it to be made out of stone. I liked this clay stone. I thought it uh, was a nice kind of complementing color to our, our gray cobblestone. So this is when I just start decide, deciding what the base is, what our, what our like house is actually going to look at look like. And I mean, I may change a couple of things. I don't think I'm going to rigidly stick to this like framework. But it will serve as a as a frame for our base, and I finally finally get to digging out this pit because there's a lot of stuff here, and I wanted to make use of the space as best as I could. Um, so we get quite a lot of uh, I don't know what that, that stuff is called, but like ancient soil or like you know bones, and uh, that stuff is going to be worthwhile to pan through, and I do pan through all of it. Um, but we can see here light temporal storm is approaching. We're going to get more of these and apparently they get more severe every single time they that we get hit by them. 
So that's a that's a real major problem. So you know, despite that, I, I get to work panning um, through our our ancient dirt, and I do um, I don't I don't think I caught footage of it there, but I do find. Uh, hold on a second. Here's uh, one of the most major discoveries: three copper nuggets on the surface would indicate quite a rich vein of of copper. And this is when I, I finally figure out that, you know, three down in the, in the uh, stone is actually where the copper is. But I can't really further explore this because the temporal storm hits and I have to go and kind of deal with that. This was no biggie, by the way. I was not nearly as worried or concerned about that as I wasn't the last time. Um, but, yeah, um, <laughs> the, the, the copper uh, was was very rich in this uh in this play session uh i kind of almost made up for all of the stuff i last lost in the last episode and in fact um not only do i find this vein but i find another one and you can even see there that i don't maybe maybe it's not different but the, i actually get like a major chunk of copper which is worth a nice amount of copper nuggets so that was really good but i was going to talk about about it um you know your minecraft methods don't work in this game you do have to get a prospecting pickaxe um it's a whole process in this game and uh i haven't yet done that um even yet like even now uh, currently i haven't done that yet but um it's gonna have to be how i get my future ores um and it's it's a whole process and i'll go through it in that episode of how basically you prospect for ores and metals and minerals and all kinds of stuff. But, um, you know, like I'm, I'm actually, you know, starting the, I cleared out the base, um, the, the dirt, it, like there's a lot of stuff down there. got a lot of stuff. We, I, I actually did get, I was going to say a, a diamond, a rough diamond and a, like, a I think a sapphire or no, sorry, a peridot. I don't know if it's peridot or peridot. Uh, but I got a, I got a, a, a couple of semi-precious stones from those ancient, that ancient dirt, um, which is going to be good. And hey, this, this right here, I'm so glad I end up doing this. Um, I needed more charcoal, but I didn't realize how much I needed that charcoal. I'll talk a little bit about that once we start smelting down the copper. But um, that was a very, very smart decision on my part. So we finally come back here, and uh, I, I realized just how good this pit was for copper. As I said, it was, it was reoccurring, um, and I, I, I find out just how good it was. It, there was a massive amount of copper down here, and it pretty much made up the rest of the copper I needed, um, both for the anvil as well as for um, basically anything else I needed. So um, that ended up being really good. But what I was going to say is I I, um, I think it's actually a really good idea to carry clay with you because you can basically turn all of the stone that you're getting from mining into blocks and that helps condense it into something usable. Um, and I do, I do like, you know, I think building out of some kind of stone is a good idea. Um, I was, yeah, like right here you'll see I'm, I'm starting to build like the actual foundation, the floor of this building because I was never going to, I don't think I ever really wanted to build uh, or make the, the floor, um, you know, like I didn't want to have a basin kind of thing going on. I, I wanted to have an actual floor. And then I want, what I want to do is turn that, uh, what was the ground into uh, a cellar for goods and for other stuff. But uh, I plan on turning our base into a really nice little kind of like windmill cottage. I think that would be really nice. Um, finally I get around to fixing that situation that that rye has been dead for a long time I didn't realize I would get the seeds back by breaking it but here's a here's a milestone I our first um, vegetable actually technically farmed which is kind of a big deal um, you know I actually farmed something and got something out of it and turned it into some soup um, so we can you know we have something to eat for the next couple of days I, I don't, I'm not even close to prepared for winter. We're going to have to start preparing something. And I mean, that's why I'm working on the base. Everything I've been doing, believe it or not, has been sort of towards the end of, uh, you know, making the base so that I uh, basically, like I have um, 
uh, sort of consistency to where we put our items, how we store our items. We have a cellar so we can start preserving food and stuff. And, and we can actually start to think about longevity and not just like day-to-day -day survival. Um, this was kind of an interesting clip here, but that's a rare, rare sighting of actually seeing a, um, one of those little time portals or time storm things, temporal storm things kind of appear in front of you. I hadn't seen that before. But we dig up this charcoal. We're going to need it. 100% going to need it. I, I didn't realize just how much, that, that uh, how, how necessary that charcoal was. Because we have a ton, a ton of copper nuggets in that uh, crucible. And the more you are trying to smelt, the longer it takes to smelt. Um, I mean, it is time efficient. Like, you are smelting a lot more. But um, it takes a lot more time to basically bring it up to the necessary smelting temperature. Um, so I didn't realize that. And I, I almost burned through all of the charcoal that I had even after that. Even after the charcoal I had made. Like, I almost burned through all of it in order to smelt all of our copper. And if I had then I basically would have wasted all of that charcoal and I would have had to go and make a bunch more charcoal um, to try and bring it up to smelting point. So uh, I was really I was really grateful that I had like just barely enough. I ended up like leaving with five chunks of charcoal left. But um, the smelting takes forever because I have just an ungodly amount of copper here that I'm trying to, to work through. And it, uh, it it takes almost like the whole day to uh, to smelt through it all. But I do eventually do it. I, I kind of sped this up um, a little bit. But uh, in in the future, we'll have better methods of um, you know smelting. But it, it's gonna be like this for a long time. And also, I mean, there's you know, oh yeah, I, I spend the time. I, I actually found a book in one of the, some of the ancient dirt. This is a, the first little bit of story in Vintage Story, which is interesting. Honestly, this is it's kind of something I always thought that Minecraft could use was um, discoverable bits of, of a story or journals of uh, someone who had been there before. I always thought that that would have been that would have been a cool idea. So we finally get to to make this anvil um, and pour like 800 to 900 units of copper in there is is pretty satisfying. Like it's you can see like that's. That is all a lot of work that I've put in in the last couple of days, like both in game and also real time of, of hours, like trying to get all that copper and trying to get to that p point. It's very satisfying to sort of see it all come to that hilt where you can eat like, yes, I, I have this thing that is necessary for the next step. Um, and I'll finally be able to smith uh, the saw and the saw is going to be the the next necessary step as much as I don't want to build our house out of wood I still need the saw for other things um, And you know like bows just about anything you can think of any any useful or necessary thing It's, it's just like what you need to what you need a saw for so um, That's that's gonna be it, but um, Yeah here, here it is. We finally got the anvil. This is like basically the last four to five episodes. Basically, the whole series has been working up towards this anvil. And you clunk. There it is. And uh, I finally start to work on the forge. So we'll get to how smithing works in the future. Smithing is, is a pretty interesting uh, process. And much like uh, um, c uh, clay forming and napping it's it's got its own kind of little mini game and it's pretty creative in its own way um but we'll yeah we'll get into that and why we need the forge and what the forge is for and how it works but the first thing i have to make unfortunately i should i should have made this days ago was um a mold for ingots so that we can basically when we get our copper we need to smelt it and then we pour it into the ingot maker and then we can work with the ingots but anyway that's going to do it um, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to hit that uh, like button, I'd really appreciate it. That subscribe button, consider hitting the coffee as well. Who knows? Could be part of the, the supporters. I'd very much appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.